Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Perth, Australia. Yes, if anyone's figured it out from previous videos, I'm in Australia. Actually, I'm at the airport leaving at the moment, but there's something very interesting right behind me and we're going to go and check it out. Now, if you are a subscriber to the channel, you've probably watched a couple of past videos in the last two months where I went on the longest escalator in Russia. And this right in front of us here is the longest escalator in the Southern Hemisphere. Now, it doesn't look overly impressive, but I think the camera is not doing justice how big this station is right here. And this is brand new, opened in the last few months. So we're gonna ride it, we're gonna see how long it is, and we're gonna see how impressive it is going on the longest escalator in the Southern Hemisphere. Now, if you really didn't want to ride the escalators, <laughs> they have a, a lift here. We call them lifts in Australia, or elevators, which actually takes you right to the top. Check that out. So you could actually ride the lift if you want, or you can take the longest escalator, which we're going to ride right now. Now, just like when I rode the escalator in Russia, I have my handy stopwatch right here. So we're actually going to time how long it takes to go from the bottom to the top. As soon as I step on it, we're gonna ride it continuously to the top as we get on here now. Let's press start and the timer is going. Now, this escalator is 115 feet from bottom to top and the ride itself is 35 meters. Now, for Australia or for the Southern Hemisphere, this is very impressive. And we can actually see now how big this terminal is. And there is a smaller set of escalators that go down to the train platform down there. You can just see a couple of guys on it there as we leave. But I've got the stopwatch ticking along here. We're at 36 seconds. Let's see as we approach the top what it's going to come out at. I'm very curious. Let's get ready and stop we literally walked off now it's awfully bright up here today is one of the warmest days that i've decided to come to the airport to check this out and this upstairs area here is amazing the amount of glass windows this is a brand new station so this was it was about five years in the making to make this entire terminal it was three years over schedule and between this station and to go into Perth to the central station it cost one and a half billion dollars to build this now if you're all waiting hopefully we can see that it was just on 50 seconds to ride the longest escalator in the southern hemisphere so actually the uh, station we're at here was airport central so you can actually go inland a little bit to High Wycombe or Redcliffe Bayswater, Melsham, East Perth, and then Perth Central right here would be your sort of last stop going into the city. This actual notice board here tells you if there's no trains, they've got bus replacements. And the whole uh, Perth network, they're calling it Metronet. And this is the name of the whole Perth network of trains that run uh, around the Perth suburban area. So I really hope you find this video interesting. I was so curious to come out to this because this is my city where I'm from. And when I heard about this being the longest in the Southern Hemisphere, I had to come. The previous longest one, by the way, was over in Melbourne, Parliament Station in Melbourne. And this one is literally a couple of feet or meters uh, longer to break that record. I think they wanted to do that when they built this station here. Now, I think we might go on a little bit of a walk uh, towards the airport. So the actual main international airport is right ahead of us here. And this train, literally until kind of last year was not here and the only way to get to the international airport was by car or bus uh, and there was no train connecting any of the airports in Perth and you can see this huge sky bridge that wraps around here and then originally this middle section here was actually the tower or the control tower for Perth airport or Perth international airport which is right in front of us and then there's a domestic airport close by as well that connects it. So it's really interesting just walking through this sky bridge here. They've kind of got one side that's glassed 
And then this side over here is actually kind of open uh, walls where the breeze comes through, which would basically come from the ocean. And they call it the Fremantle Doctor. So they've intentionally built it. So you get this free breeze, I guess, coming right through the terminal here, which is super nice. Now, this guy ahead of me here, I want to show you this because it's kind of fun. Now, this is the Australian way to ride a Travelator. Now, this thing itself is huge. Now, I wonder how long this Travelator is. There's no world records that I can find for this or Australian records. And this gentleman ahead of me here, we had a bit of a laugh about this a few minutes ago about the uh, longest escalator. But how impressive is this? Now, I can just hear, there's actually speakers above us and they're actually talking about the region where the airport is and the significance uh, going back in history with the Aboriginal uh, land that this sits on and the, uh, the people that basically were from this area. And then they built into the escalator here these sort of interesting uh, different animals and there's a bit of a voiceover and there's some birds tweeting on the speakers. It's a little bit hard to pick up, but it's very impressive how they kind of give you this little uh, voiceover talking about it. Now, if you are following along the channel, you may have watched recently the I Left Russia video. Now, I didn't really give away where I was at the end of that video, but I came to Australia where I am now, and I'm at the airport heading on another trip. And you're gonna see in future videos where I'm gonna end up. I'm not gonna vlog the trip from here to there. I'm gonna get over there and start videos from where I'm going to now. So there you have it, the last part, you've got to take a lift down from the sky bridge down to the terminal entrance. And this is where we came all the way over here. And this very famous tower here at Perth Airport, which was kind of the middle island of the huge car park that kind of wraps around this place. This is all the drop-offs here for international departures and some uh, domestic departures, depending on where you're going. We actually have two terminals here and one on the other side of the airport. Perth Airport's a little bit strangely built because of the way it kind of got popular in the last 10 or 20 years, but that was the longest escalator in the Southern Hemisphere. Now, we've come to the end of the video. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed riding the longest escalator in the Southern Hemisphere. I know I've said it a lot, but it helps the algorithm of YouTube. Um, I am going to get on a plane. I've actually got my bag set aside just up ahead of me here. I just see Jen right there. Uh, she's coming with us, or with me. And with you guys, you're going to see some videos from our next destination very soon. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Post a comment, let me know what you think. Maybe you've watched my other escalator videos and this has become a bit of a thing. I think it's very interesting. I, I do. We haven't had anything like this in Perth or in Western Australia in the history of the train network here. So yeah, give us a comment. And I've got another video for you to watch right here. Maybe you want to watch the longest escalator in Moscow and check that out. I'll put that as the next video for you to watch. Thanks everybody. Bye.